Hi there, I'm Blacklight. This one is going to be short and sweet. I've done enough over the weekend. Um, but yes, I couldn't let this pass me um, when something comes underneath my little nose. I've got to talk about it. Anyway, if it's the first time you're coming across my channel, please subscribe, share and like. I talk about anything that comes underneath my nose, anything that triggers my curiosity. That's what I do. Anyway, today I came across an article because I subscribe to quite a few different things. And it's about the Home Office planning to deport non-EUs, non-EEAs and non-UK people from, from the streets. Basically, they're doing a roundup of all the homeless people ready to deport them. I think 18 months ago it was rendered discriminatory when they were trying to get rid of the rough sleeping EU nationals. Now they've kind of disregarded that and they're going to go for a full sweep of all non-UK immigrants who are homeless. Um, what are my thoughts about this? Well, I have to say that I would imagine that a lot of the homeless are homeless because they either haven't got a passport, haven't got the money to go back to where they came from. They might have been trafficked. They may have come over here illegally. We don't know why they're on the streets. It's, it's unfortunate if um, some of these undocumented people are you know, victims of the Windrush generation or victims of those um, people who've been waiting for their immigration papers to go through. And um, as a result, they've lost their homes. We do not know the circumstances of why people are homeless. It's really, really unfortunate. You know, a lot of people are homeless because of relationship breakdown and they can't afford by themselves to rent a property. Properties are expensive these days. So, if, depending on the reason why people are homeless, and if you're going to try and get those people who are undocumented through no fault of their own and because of delays in the home office, then that's unfair. If you're deporting people who, because they cannot afford to go back and you're going to assist in that way, then all well and good. But apparently... They're urging um, charities. There's this charity called Rough Sleeping. Um, what's it called? Rough Sleeping Support UK. So they're urging, and what happens is when they help rough sleepers, I think they give them food, but of course they have to sign up. And the, chat, the Home Office is urging them to give um, up personal information, which they're not supposed to give up. Um, or else they might damage their reputation. They didn't say that in so many words, but that is the inference that they'd better comply or else. So we have a situation where um, this is what the Home Office has stooped so low to do, to grab up all the homeless people. If they're not from the UK, I don't know how they're going to do that if they don't have their passports on them. I don't see how they can deport them without passports. I don't see, I, I don't understand how this is going to work. I can't see how they're going to deport them when they don't have paperwork and usually it's just their little piece of belongings that they have. Unless they're just going to put them all in detention, already overcrowded detention centres. I agree, we don't like to see them on our streets. It's very unpleasant. It reminds us of how we may be in a situation like that through some kind of circumstance. It also reminds us of the vulnerability of people and the vulnerability of life and how we do not know what's going to happen from one day to the next. You know, you've got these um, slum landlords who are raising the rent or are kicking people out because they don't want um, benefit um, claimants in their homes lots of different pe sorry lots of different reasons why people are homeless but in any event um, this is what's being planned and I thought I'd share that with you I haven't got much else to add the charities are now border guards um, yeah that's all I've got to say really short and sweet bye